Hi, I'm Sonia Gavankar with Telecom Company TV. I'm here with CEO of OpenWave, Ken Denman. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Sonia. Data consumption is a growing concern in the industry. The devices and data plans encourage subscribers to use their phones for much more than talking. But can the networks handle the growing demand for bandwidth? Recently, SoftBank Mobile has seen traffic push its network to capacity in central Tokyo. So, Ken, do you feel we've hit a tipping point with mobile data usage globally? I do, Sonia. Actually, I think the tipping point was reached 12 to 18 months ago. With the advent of app stores, with um, the power of social networking uh, phenomena and how that's driving messaging volumes, and with the power of these really cool devices at the edge, you know, smartphones, etc., cetera, um, video has become a really driving force. All of this is leading to much greater levels of mobile data consumption and really um, accentuating what I would describe or pointing to what I would describe as two very powerful uh, mobile data tsunamis that are headed our way. What do you mean by two data tsunamis? Well, Sonia, the analogy I would use is that 12 to 18 months ago, there were a couple of earthquakes out in the middle of the Pacific, and they generated um, tsunamis that are headed our way. Uh, the first of those tsunamis is related to smartphone usage and the power of these great devices that are generating a wonderful user experience and users are making, uh, that are availing themselves of all the cool apps that have been developed. So that's a real driving force that's generating a lot of bandwidth consumption uh, over the last little bit. And it's growing, by the way. In fact, we're seeing uh, scenarios in current customers where you know 10 to 15 percent of the phones may be smartphones in a network, but it's generating or using 60 to 70, 80 percent of the capacity of some of these networks. So that's the first uh, uh, data tsunami, if you will. Um, but the more powerful one, and, and really shockingly more powerful one, is actually the second data tsunami. And I call that all of the um, bandwidth consumption related to all things non-phone. So if you think about appliances, um, you know, refrigerator, audio appliances in homes, cars, uh, and then netbooks. All of these things are going to be connected to 3G and 4G networks because the chipset module required to connect them is sort of headed to 15 to $25. So literally, everything can be connected. Well, in that environment, especially as it regards netbooks, where you know it's just basically a laptop, they suck down enormous amounts of capacity, gigabytes uh, you know, in a week or, or uh, certainly in a month. So that phenomena is really going to you know, potentially knock networks over because the current set of mobile data networks we have around the world are not architected uh, for people to effectively be connected all the time using extremely powerful devices like netbooks. So that's the second phenomenon. Uh, we've got to tell you, that's the one that the industry has not wrapped their heads around. So what next steps need to be taken? Well, Sonia, I think network upgrades are inevitable, and the industry's headed that way, and a lot of people are thinking of LTE as the savior. I'm not quite on that page. I think it's important. The investment needs to happen. But in the near term, there's also a lot of other te uh, techniques, a lot of other things that need to be done that we can help with, quite frankly. Software strategies for both um, making the network more efficient, but also for smoothing traffic, uh, positioning um, traffic off the network, and um, caching traffic uh, in order to deliver more throughput and more capability. So there's an opportunity leveraging software to drive much more efficiency, much more intelligent management of mobile data going forward. And that's going to have to happen right now in order to even bridge to LTE. In summary, where are we as an industry and where is the industry heading? Well, the industry is scrambling to deal with the first tsunami and beginning to plan for the second. Smart operators are really be ramping up their planning and preparing for what could be a great opportunity because they know that if they don't and they stumble, they could really lose the game. Thank you so much, Ken. Thanks, I'm sure the industry will hear your call. For more information on OpenWave, visit their website at www.openwave.com. For Telecom Company TV, I'm Sonia Gavankar.